So to make sure that never happens again, I bought these. So these are NFC tags, all of these. And inside is a little chip. You can best see it on these see-through cards, but there's a little chip in there, a passive chip that does not require power. And the NFC, near field communication. My plan is to fix my bin problem, well, my lack of remembering to put the bins down to the road, by using NFC tags. So I'm going to attach one of these, not sure which one just yet, to my bin. And then I'm going to use Home Assistant to help me remember to take the bins down. Yeah, I know. All right, I'll show you how it all works. But um, first, let's pick one of these and put it on the bin. All right, so here's the bins. How exciting. Not really. I have chosen this NFC tag because it's flat and I reckon I can put it on the side here. And I know that the rubbish truck grabs it down here on the middle. So I think that'll be fine. It'll sit here where it'll be accessible to the phone because I've got to tap it with my phone, obviously. So that should be easy enough. Um, so I'm going to put that on and then I'll just show you how I register it with Home Assistant, which is probably the easiest thing I've ever done with Home Assistant. Yeah. So I look forward to that. And then we'll do the whole automation thing and make it all fantastic and useful. All right, so the NFC tag is on. I just used a bit of Aerol Dite, your two, two component glue, and that will never come off. <laughs> um, it's a good spot for it. So let's get the tag into Home Assistant before we start doing the automation to remind us to take the bins down. It's really, really simple. So you just, in the Home Assistant in the phone app, it's gotta be the phone app. And your phone has to be NFC compatible, obviously to be able to read and write the tag. So, um, so not all phones are that, so just check your phone first if it is or not. But you go into settings and in here there's just tags just press the tag button and see there's no tag i'm going to add a tag and i'm going to give it a name so this one's going to be bins and then i do create and write if you just click create it doesn't actually write anything to it like it doesn't link it up properly um, you just get a tag inside of home assistant but no id so i want to create and write to this particular one hold your device near an MS NF nfc tag which is here and write the following identifier to it. So, and this is all I do. Boop. That's it. And now I have bins in here. It's it's literally that simple. Now I've got a bin. So in to tap it, uh, to scan it, same thing. I can actually go out of it. Like that. And scanned. That's it. And now we can see back in Home Assistant, scanned eight seconds ago. So that's all it is, and that just creates or triggers an event in Home Assistant, which we're now going to use for the automation. So let's jump into Home Assistant. <coughs> Hello. All right. So Home Assistant. Um, yeah, we've got to do three things with our automation. So first thing, I'm going to go into Node Red. Again, this is now my new favorite tool for automations. If you don't know Red, if you don't know red, if you don't know Node Red, I made a video on that, uh, so go check that out. So here are all my automations in Node Red, and I'm going to create a new tab. I like new tabs <laughs> because this is going to be for the bins. I may have to clean these up one day. I'm just doing, you know, consolidating, but whatever. For now, we're going to create a new tab. I'm going to call this bins. So there are three things I need to do. One is I need to capture the um, the tagging, as in touching the tag with my phone. Uh, I need to be able to send a notification if the tag has not been tapped. And then I need to reset the notification cycle so that it can start for the next week. So when the bin has been picked up-ish, reset and say, hey, have you emptied the bin or have you put them in the road? So that's the plan, three steps. So we'll start with the first one. And that is, of course, to select the tag that we want to trigger the whole workflow from. So on the left here, there are nodes, and there is one for tag. Yeah, that's that simple. So drag your tag thing in here, tag node, double click on it. Oh, bugs. 
me that. And we'll give this a name. We're going to call this tap bin tag. Sure. And then we got to choose the tag, which we'll choose. Well, we only got one, right? So far, so we'll choose that as bins. And that's all we need to do for here. So then an event is triggered when the bin is tapped or the tag is tapped on the bin. So done. And then we need to have a variable. So in Home Assistant, in Node Red, so rather in Home Assistant, you can have variables that we can then use to put values in. It's really useful. So if I go on the left here and I go down to change, set change, delete, or move properties of a message, flow context, or global context. That's what we want to do. We want to change this variable. So double click on that. And we're going to give it a name. We're going to call this set bin tapped, right? So we're going to set a variable. You can also change, delete, or move. We're going to just set it. And when you set a variable that doesn't exist, it'll be created. So this is going to be flow, because we want to do it in the flow context of where we at. We don't want it to be global, and we don't want it to just be for the message. We want it to live inside of this flow. And it's not going to be called payload. We'll call it var underscore bin underscore tapped. And then you can give it any value. It's just a string, but I could also choose any number, boolean, json, etc. We're just going to choose string. So I'm going to go with yes and no. Keep it simple. So when I tap the bin, has it been tapped? Yes, it has. Set it to that string. Um, that's it. And then obviously I want to connect the two here. So that's our first flow. That's that's number one. We tap it and we register that it's been tapped in the flow and we set that variable to yes. Okay, so the second part of it is that we need to then check on the morning of the bin being and having to be on the road, which is what we're solving, I want then to check. And if not, I want to send myself a message, right? So I'm going to use the inject node here because there's a little cool thing in the inject node which is you can have well we're going to give it a name obviously we're going to call this i'm just keep looking at my notes here just to make sure i get it right um notify when bin is full right all that needs to go to the road but let's call it for that for now doesn't matter what the timestamp is what the message payload is we're not going to use it but down the bottom here I can repeat at interval between times. So that's what I want to do. I want to repeat every once an hour is enough for me in this case. And I want to do it between, say, 7 a.m. and probably midday. So my bins are emptied roughly about 1 p.m. thereabouts. So until midday, that'll do. And then only on Wednesdays because the bins are emptied on Wednesdays. So now I have a trigger, something that calls this. But... What is it calling? Well, it's going to be, first of all, it's going to have to check if I've already tapped it, as in I've already got them at the road, right? So I'm going to use a switch statement here. And this switch is going to be notify if bin tag is no, right? So I haven't tapped it. And then I'm going to use that same property. So flow, a flow variable var underscore bin underscore tapped and if that is set to no right so if i tap it it gets set to yes if i haven't tapped it it should be no then i want something to happen right so i'm gonna go for that so i'll connect those two what do i want to happen well i want to call a service i want in in particular where's the call service uh there right at the top <laughs> um in particular, I want to notify my phone, right? So this will be notify bins are late. And the domain is notif whoops, notif notify. And the, the, the device, or sorry, the service is my Pixel 7 Pro. And then the data is the message. Now I can never remember the format exactly. Luckily, there is a load example data just down here. So if you click on that, and you can actually click the little dots here to make it a little bit more readable. The message, whoops, sorry, here we go. The message is, the garage door has been open, so it's just a, the bins need to be at the road. And then the title, so this is for a notification on your phone, the title of that notification could be bin emergency, right, or something. I'm not gonna use the target and the data in this case, 
just like that. I can then click on done. I can actually test it down here if I wanted to. Um, I'm not going to in this case. Done, so there's our message. Um, and that's it. Then that will be sent to the phone. Um, well, it will be when I connect these two. So now we've done tap the bin tag, so that sets the variable to yes. Then every Wednesday morning between 7 and midday, if I haven't tapped it, well, the bin tag should be no, notify my phone. So every hour I get a message going, uh, come on. But there's the last thing missing is, well, we got to reset this flow, set it back to no, right? So I'm going to get another inject node here. I'm going to call this um, reset tag variable, right? And then I'm going to do that repeat just at a specific time. I only need to do it once. And it's going to be on Wednesdays. Get that. And it's going to be at 2 o'clock, 2 p.m., 1400. So that's after the bins have been emptied, I'm assuming, if all goes to plan. And then what do I want to do when that, when that fires? Well, I want to again use the change node because I want to change that variable. So double click on it. I'm going to set uh, reset tag va whoops, variable. And I'm going to set the var bin tapped to no. Right? That makes sense? All right, let's just go through that. So I have here tap the bin tag sets the variable to no, not to yes rather. Then every Wednesday morning, keep checking. And while the bin tag is not set to yes, then send a, mess, a notification to my phone. And then after the bin is emptied, then I'll reset it back to no. So that is ready for next week. So I almost forgot one thing, um, which is kind of important. When you store variables in node red, they go into what's called the context. Well, the flow and the global variables do. So the message variables just stay inside of um, the actual message, the node, but the flow ones and the, and the global ones go into the context. So over here on the little drop down, there's context data. If you go in here, you can see the node, the flow and the global, you can see what's current. So if I were to refresh the flow one, which is the one we're using in this case, you can see var bin tapped is set to yes. Now, that is by default stored in memory, but if you restart Home Assistant, that would clear that variable. So what you need to do is you need to store it to the file system. So let me just show you quickly how to do that. So if you go to your file editor, or however you edit files in Home Assistant, and you go into your node red, so that's in here, config, and then you go down to node red, and there's a settings.js right here at the bottom, settings.js. That's the one you need to edit. So that's the one I have open here, config, node red, settings.js. You may already have this section. You may have it commented out. It may not be there at all, but you need a section that says context storage. And there's a few different ways you can configure that. I'll link to that in the description. Um, but I have default module local file system, and that will ensure that variables in node red are written to the file system, hence they persist when Home Assistant is restarted. So that's really important. Make sure you do that, otherwise this whole setup won't work if you restart Home Assistant, which I tend to do because I reconfigure it all the time. Yeah, and that's it. That's it. Now, if you have a way of doing this in a better way, you know, possibly I have there's something here I could have done in one step or two steps rather than three, let me know. I'm still quite new to Node Red, but this thing works for me. I have tested it for about a week now and it works beautifully. Um, let me know in the comments. Please subscribe to the channel if you found this useful and of course, share the video. Oh, let everybody else not be late with bins and have to run down their bathroom. Exactly. All right, that's it for me this time. Um, I'm gonna go do some more home automation, I think. But um, in any case, thanks for watching. See you later.